Hello, my name's Rob Gillum. I'm with Weller Bee Supply, and today we're going to show you a new product that we've developed. It's we're calling Easy Bath. We're all familiar with the old standard vaporizer that used a battery source. Um, these worked fine. The only trouble with them was that the fact that you either had to have a 12 volt battery or something that you could hook it to. So what we've come up with is what we call the Easy Bap. With the Easy Bap, what you're going to get is you're going to get a butane torch and you're going to get the vaporizer. You're also going to get a can of butane, a measuring scoop, and also two pre-measure caps. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the torch. The torch is refillable. It will do about 60 treatments before it has to be refilled. Uh, there's a button in the bottom of it that you take the butane and you basically just put it on the nozzle and push down. And when it fills, it'll start spewing out a little bit on the torch. There's an indicator to let you know when you are full on butane. Now we're going to talk about the torch a little bit. First off, you have your flame regulator knob, which is on the top. You have a trigger for igniter, and this is a lock. You have to push the lock before you can get it to light. If you let off the lock, then you can let off of the button. And now you're going to be able to adjust your flame. Now when we put the vaporizer on, you can push the button on the side and that'll release it. So we're going to push the button, hit the trigger, release, and it'll stay lit. The nice thing about the torch is it will stay lit at any angle. So now we're going to take and hit the small button on the side again to release the trigger. So this is our new design here. We call this our Easy Bat. What we have on it, on the bottom, you will see a notch in the tube in which the torch goes in. When you place the torch in, you're going to push the torch in until you just pass the notch. Once you pass the notch, now your Easy Vap is attached to your butane torch. You'll get two caps, measuring caps, with your order with the Easy Vap. This will hold two grams of the oxalic acid. Your measuring scoop comes with it. It just stows in the barrel of the vaporizer. And you can remove that. You're going to fill the measuring cup, put it into the cap that goes on the vaporizer. So if you have two deeps, you're going to use two caps. They recommend one gram per deep, 10 frames. So now you've filled your cap, you have your oxalic acid in it. So you can take and fill both of these, and that's what we've done. We've given you an extra so you can pre-fill. But the thing I want to talk about first is regulating the flame. So this might be hard to see, but what I'm going to do when I ignite my torch, I'm going to look down between the fill chamber and the outside chamber, and I want the tip of my flame to just touch the chamber on the inside. So when I hit the torch, let off, I can look down in here and I can see just the tip of my torch is now touching the inside chamber. And I've just got the tip of the torch flame hitting the inside chamber. Now once I have done, that's how I'm going to adjust my flame. Now I've shut it off, and now I'm ready. Every time you hit the trigger, your flame should remain the same. So I've got my pre-filled cap. I'm going to turn this up, and my cap will go in. Now it's loaded. So now when I'm ready to vaporize, I'm going to turn it back up. The oxalic acid will drop into the heat chamber. Now this entrance reducer I've altered where I've put a 7 16 diameter hole in it to where this will go in the inside of that hole 
and it'll stay there. Okay? So now when I'm ready to vaporize, all I have to do is hit my side button, hit the trigger, release, and start my timing. It should take in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 seconds to vaporize. Once the vaporizing has ended, I'm going to hit my button on the side to, re to re release the trigger. Now I can remove it. I can take and remove my cap. Okay, it should be empty. And now I have my other cap here that is preloaded. I turn my vaporizer upside down, put my cap on, and now I'm ready to go again. Now what I have found is that I like having the option of putting a hole in my bottom board. That way I can go down along the back of my hive. I don't even have to do anything with the entrance. And I'm going to take and place my vaporizer in the back hole. Okay, and it's going to be the same. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I've turned it up right. The exolic acid has fell into the bottom of the heat chamber. Now I can light my torch. So I light my torch, do my timing. I'm looking at 40 to 50 seconds for it to vaporize. I hit the small red button on the side to relieve the trigger. Now I can take it out and I'm ready to go on to my next hive. Now, when you use this, over time, this is going to start getting hot. So, by it getting hot, just like any other heating device, to keep your timing on, you have to cool it. You're going to have to take some, get rid of some of the heat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm either going to have a wet rag to where I can take some of the heat off, or if I have a glove that I can get a hold of this while it's hot, I can take and remove my torch, take my vaporizer, and I can submerse it in water. There's nothing on this vaporizer that will be hurt by water. So I can take and remove all the heat I want. If I don't get water in my heat chamber and I don't get water in my tube, I don't have to wait for it to dry. I can just put enough water in here for it to come up on the sides of the heat chamber and cool it down. So now once I've done that, I can take and go on about my vaporizing. Now as you're vaporizing, also I'm going to make sure that my torch is in past the notch just a little bit. As I'm vaporizing, I'm going to notice that there's going to be a little bit of oxalic acid start building up in my tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my measuring scoop handle and I'll run it down the tube to take out what's building up inside the tube. Now I'm ready to go on to my next hive. So I hope you like this. I found it's a whole lot easier than carrying a battery or having to have a power source. So now, basically, I'm going to take me something to cool the unit. Unless you have a whole lot of hives to do, this will do up to 60 treatments. That's where adjusting your flame comes in. You want the point of the flame just to hit your heat chamber. Once you've set that, the timing will be on the 40-50 second range, and also the life of your butane Will be extended. So if you have any questions, contact us through Weller Bee Supply. We hope you like it. If you've bought one already, we hope this video helps and happy beekeeping to you. Thank you.